could be like possibly even a collect or kind of one. Look at that. So nice. Morning guys, we just landed in our first spot. We've got this law rose here. I'm not exactly where show. I think it's just outside Leicester or something, but I'm just gonna make my way around, just around about and stuff and so yeah, it's just gonna be another good day. Just see what we can find and we'll talk about it. We're different some crocs and sandals. But a massive, like a size 12. I'll have a look at it, see if it's worth anything, but I know Crocs is always like a popular thing, isn't it? Yeah, looking at it, these ones aren't really that popular. It's just like your classic uh, round toe style. That seems to do all right, so we'll just leave these and they're a size 12 as well, so it'll be difficult to find someone with no size feet and who want them as well, so. I did see this though, this is quite interesting. This is a gun boy. You know what, I'm actually might give this a go, you know. I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but it's all boxed up. It seems to be in like a reasonable condition, so I'll give it a go. See what happens with it. Obviously, if it's a bit of a dud, it's a bit of a dud, isn't it? But I'm always trying to broaden my horizons, so we'll give this a go. You know what? This is why it's so important just to kind of hang about and just keep looking. Or just look properly, because I, I miss stuff all the time. But that's £3. This is a starting wooden chess pieces. And I don't know much about it, but I just know starting sells really well. Picked up some about a month ago, stuff like that. And they sold for like 15 quid, but I didn't really expect to sell anything more than that. But these could sell pretty good. And it seems like it's got all the nice pieces in it as well. So I love chess pieces. I love them. That can sell quite well. This is like six pound. This is a seal router on these Netgear ones. I remember having to buy all this kind of stuff because I had a crappy computer and I had to just make up as I go along. So I know people always want this stuff. I know it sells for like 25 pound. Someone sold one and that was used. So, hmm. I'm pushing the boat right out today, aren't I? All right, let's see if we can actually find some clothes. Pretty big this one to be fair, isn't it? Well, we're gonna see if we have a good time. Straight off the bat, we got this Paul Smith tee. It's four pound 45, but I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like, it's like on a mega fade. It's like really, really faded. So I'm not feeling that to be honest. So we'll stick that on back. Here we've got another one. This is an Exeter City shirt, eight pound though. And I've looked at a couple of comps. It go for about what, 20 pound, 25 pound. So a little bit out of reach. I mean, I know I could sell it, but I just, I'm going to leave that as well. Like eight pounds a lot just to get 20 from it back. Now these Nike Air Max 90s, are they? They're seven pound, but they're really, really small. So I doubt I'll be able to sell them. They're like a size three. And obviously the 90s are super popular, but it just depends. So there's 11 active and there is 18 sold. So they can go possibly, but do you know I mean? compared to, let's say a size nine, Size 9's got 196 active with nearly 800 sold. Do you know what I mean? So I just think I'll leave them, not in the best condition either. Show this out. So they've got this Polaroid land camera, 2000. Etsy's price is £75, but our price is 50 Well, on eBay, none of them are even sold. Let's keep that there, shall we? Is this a floor bonus? Could it be? No. One day. I'm gonna do a floor bonus and it's gonna be Gucci. Here's a question I get asked a lot. So this is an Adidas sample. People ask, can you sell samples? Or what samples about? So it's basically something that probably hasn't been released or it got released and it's slightly different, but they tend to be a bit of lower quality just cause it's like a show piece rather than an actual ready to wear piece. Now, I'm looking at this one. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it, but it's the Pyramid Adidas. I don't think it's as popular as the other Adidas, but it's this, it's this symbol on the back kind of got me intrigued, but it's a bit worn as well. So, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it. But the Ralph Lauren price stuck quite nice here. 15 pounds for that one. It's probably one I wouldn't pick up anyway, although it's quite nice. It's like a rugby kind of one. But if I look down here, Look at this bad boy. These sell so well. I don't know how much it is actually. That's a good price, but anyway, Yves Saint Laurent, if that's how you pronounce it. These t-shirts do really well. They're so vintage and it's a t-shirt. You're not gonna go wrong with that, are you? Well, this is a bit of a new one to me. This is Niffy, British knitwear. Now when it's got that kind of green look to it and these are uh, like suede kind of patches, you can kind of guess it's a hunting jumper. So, it's got a little bit of mark, but it looks like that could be washed yeah. out. So these can go for about maybe 30 pound, 30 odd pounds, something like that. So I'm going to give it a go. It doesn't look like it shrank or anything. Uh, what size are we looking at? It's a medium. So yeah, it looks like a, a bigger medium. Can't complain. We've got this mannequin right here, yeah? flexing hard. 
And he's even got the vapor max on. But they say here, items on all mannequins are for display purposes only. Why? Yeah, so not bad really. Nice two items. You know what is a big shop. Don't necessarily mean you can find lots of stuff and I just still like to be picky anyway. And I think those are two of the pretty good stuff in there. So I just saw this one on the way down. So I thought might as well just stop it. Picking up another low roast for the win. Look at this. Oh, I love that. It's a Paul Smith shirt. That pattern is peng. Make sure that it's the right label. The wash label tends to be a little bit thinner underneath, so I'm pretty happy that's a, a genuine one. That is well nice, isn't it? So random, but when it's a random Paul Smith, that's where the money is, do you know what I mean? Good money. They've got the Hugues. Hugo Boss. It says £40 here. It says £4 there. It's more than likely going to be 40 because obviously the stick is on the inside. This random one for like 30 odd quid, so I don't think uh, they're going to be £4. Now I've seen this polo shirt, but I've also seen this one as well. Now, the reason I wouldn't pick this one up, but pick this one up, is just because of the colour. These white ones, like you think about white shirts, people love a white shirt for going out, for doing all that kind of stuff. And they just seem to be a lot more, I don't know, just a lot more versatile than a real strong colour that I don't think that would be too popular. I've picked ones up like before and not done well, but anytime I pick up anything like a white shirt in like Ralph Lauren, they tend to do well. So I'll give this one a go. As always, I could be wrong. This could sell immediately, this one couldn't. But it just, I mean, at the end of the day, I just try and just go with what my gut feeling. Obviously, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, who cares? You Thank are. you very much, Robbie. Thank you again. Take care. Bye. See you now. I love these. These are white Nike label. A big size as well. Look at that logo as well. Old school. White Nike label. I think it was like 90s. Big boy size. That is an absolute piece. Just seen these as well. Ed Hardy shorts. Yo, is that even a thing? Yeah, those shorts seem to do quite well. Like some here for like £37, £35, very similar. Or like £40 nearly. So that's like really random. Never seen anything like this before. So cool. It's a bit of a cue, so I just thought I'd look at the women's bit. That's really nice, isn't it? It's Land's End. Um, I don't think it's like a big. Oh, Shetland. It's a Shetty. I'm slipping on the Shetty. Slipping on the Shetty, bruv. Definitely keeping that one. Just nice. You're not doing too bad, to be fair. And I just met my mate Bart. Nice one, mate. Hope you uh, find some stuff around here because I don't come here that often. So <laughs> I'll run through it and then I'll leave you to it. So I picked up these Armani trousers. I was actually in a shop which was banging out some hardcore pet shop boys, like proper loud. So I'll put them in the record. Anyway, they're £3.50. 100% wool, yeah, really nice. Like, they're just, I think they're a bit of a vintagey one, but they're just a nice shape, really nice and formal. There's some Reese trousers on there, but it had a stain, which is a bit suspect. A little bit of a yogurt stain on the leg, so I kind of uh, walked away from that one. Next destination is a bit of a posh one. Like, the prices are pretty high, but I know I could find something in there, possibly. If not, then I've been there. I haven't been there for about three years now, so it's always worth a, always worth a go into it, so let's go. This place is quite reseller heavy, so, We'll just take it as we see it and just see what we can find. If we don't find anything, I ain't too worried. Yeah, so I've picked up this so many times, but it don't really sell as well as I thought it did. Last time I picked something like this up, it only went for like 25. I feel like this is linen. So I might have to check it just cause linen shirts, especially now it's getting to the summer. I won't see this a bit. Yeah, it's a bit worn out, but it does feel proper linen-y. So uh, I'll check, I'll check. So there, right at the top, there's only one sold at like £50. And then another one there, which is £60-odd. Pound. But the rest are like 25 something like that, £30, something like that. So, um, for £8, I don't think I'm going to take it. Just because that particular one I've got there is the... This collection one. So I don't, like, if that was right at the top, then I would have definitely took it. But... I'm not too sure about that one, so we'll just leave that. We'll leave it. Here's a nice pair. These are a pair of, oh, that one's got a stick on it. These are a pair of Chainies. Now, Chainies is like a good old fashioned made in England shoe. They feel quite light considering their old English stuff, but it's the right soles and stuff. 15 pounds for these, I think that's not bad at all. What size is it? These are a size, uh, I think they're size six. Now, normally that puts me off, but these made in England shoes, they tend to be quite popular in Japan, where they've got smaller feet on average, so 
I've sold size sixes and size sevens before for that kind of price. But if you remember, I picked up those Loke Brogues, which were size six. They sold very recently for a good price. So yeah, we'll do it. But fourteen pound now. Mm. Not too sure to be honest. Chats Ralph Lauren is like old school. But that's like a nice print, man. Really nice print. Hawaiian shirt thing going on. It could, it could maybe, if I could times that by five, that's not a rule. If I can get it up to like 70 quid, then yeah, obviously, but we'll see. Can't really get any signal around here, so once I find some signal, I'll find out what it is, and then I'm gonna do a loop around, so if I decide to get it, I'll come back on the way back for it, so yeah, let's see. Straight away, first thing I look at is a pair of Paul Smith shoes. The six pound 50, but the only problem here is they've been hemmed up to death, look at that, wow. They're probably like three quarter lengths now by the size of it. Look at that. Shortened to death. Well, don't appear to be anything in this one. So we'll go down to the town and see what else is popping. Are these Mountain Warehouse Extreme coats. Normally, Mountain Warehouse just stack like normal jackets, which you know, do little bits of waterproof and stuff. But these extreme ones are like, don't mess about. Like, I'll take the mountain and just stay dry kind of thing. So. They can command quite a decent price, maybe like 40 quid or something like that. So this is six pound, so I'll give that a go as well. That's decent, isn't it? Franz Ferdinand tea. It's from 2004. I think it'd be crazy, maybe like 20 quid or something, but because it's kind of old, what, 18 years old, someone's going to want it. Someone probably had a, got some sentimental value attached to this tour. Might have been in Manchester, broke up with a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I don't know. Someone will love it. Another Paul Smith all over print. Crazy. Seems to be like a vintage one. Especially because Paul Smith always was kind of like these weird zip shirts. Really random. And this uh, this label at the bottom is quite nice as well. This could be like possibly even a collectible kind of one. Look at that. So nice. £5.50. Really random. Well, a couple of shops are closed, so we're going to just head back to the car, but I think. Even though there's a couple items, I think those two items will be pretty good themselves. Possibly find a day, nothing like maybe the money Trevally might not be there, but I just love it. Look at that, Paul Smith. It looks like an original piece, Paul Smith. It's got this feeling like this could be some sort of collectible kind of shirt. Not collectible, but I would say quite a rare shirt to find. So when you find something quite a rare like this, you can kind of name your price, really. So I might have to give it a go. But it's definitely got that Paul Smith feel to it, that kind of all over print, repeated pattern. For £5.50, I think we're all right. Check out this bad boy now. It looked like a circus ring that does. You dive right through that, couldn't you? You just go. I think this is the future now. It's the future, man. Okay. Trust me. So, normally, I don't know if you know my setup, I use two of these. But they said this one's like well brighter. <laughs> Trust me, though. I'm impressed. You're in the ring there. <laughs> Brown boy in the ring. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Okay. It looks bright. Let's try this one. Whoa, <laughs> shine a light! Fucking <laughs> spiders! Got some AJ Tracy trousers. No, I like the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some other ones. Yeah. But it has like a, like a random patch here. A patch? Like a little patch. What, like a sewn on patch? No, no, like a yogurt patch. Like a Bill Clinton patch. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean, don't you? Ah. Some uh, white label Nike shorts. I'm loving these now, they're all nice. Got a bit of room still, or not? Oh, I know, but, but if you've had some tapas when you're on holiday, you're gonna need Yeah, it. you're gonna need that space, aren't you? Especially a few bread rolls, yeah. dipped in balsamic, balsamic vinegar and oil. Yeah. I think it's nice, isn't it? That's like cool, animal. isn't it? I could walk into the club like this. Who's that cool guy? Oh, it's Pete. No way. How is he so cool? I think this could be a free figure shirt. What do you think? Free sugar shirt? I'm going to say free figure, free sugar. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like this is the best, this is the best find, okay? okay. I can't see it. I'm going to show you. I can't, you can't see I'm going to have to show you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 2 95 Oh, you got the fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> got the fanny pack. <laughs> Why'd you do that all the time? Because <laughs> I've got to draw attention to it. Anyway, it's two quid. They don't sell for a lot. I just thought I'd pick it up because it's probably hilarious. But what? But what? 
I've got some things to show you. Oh, okay. Oh. Are you ready for this? Now this is a bit of a backstory, okay? Yeah. So these are Doc Martens brand new. The reason why they're brand new Go on. is because they have a little logo on them here. Oh yeah, Raw Mail. Raw Mail. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. you see me. So Lola used to be a post woman back when we got married. First got married. Enough if I could find a picture, I saw a picture of it as well. It's freaking Ding. hilarious. This is when it comes on. Ding. And when I was ordering my kit, my uniform, they said do not order the Doc Martens. So okay. you get like walking boots, but they said they absolutely kill because obviously Doc Martens yeah. you have to really wear it. Break them in, you, so not? some post he's bought and thinking buzzing, gonna get some dogs. He's probably tried them on, they've killed him before he's even got out of the yeah. door because they've still got stickers on. 1993. Really? Yeah. Next one. Go on. What have you got? Backpack, yeah. All right. What? No way. Fjall Raven. The Fjall Raven. Look at the bottom of that. Yo, that's not being that's touched. brand new. It's brand new, that, mate. Love that. Brand new. Yo, they brand go for new. a bit of money, don't they? I just... I mean, if it didn't sell so much, I mean, look at comps at these. Some of them have sold for sixty quid. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, banging, it's man. not got tags on, but that is new. Like that is fit. And it's just ripped like the shape of it. I could have been like a proper party boy in college, you know. <laughs> but no, wasted, I wasted my youth. When I, was I, on, okay, when I on. saw this, just even the logo. Like, I mean, I didn't even have to look at the label. Go on. Do you need to look at the label? No. Are you serious? Hold on. Spell out. Isabel Morant. The Isabel? What the heck? These that, guys, hold on. And that was from the charity shop around the corner that I... No, I've never had anything never in. Never have anything in. So never judge a charity shop by but your last past experience. But the last time you walked in it, that is a beaut, man. Hold on, I'm going to find out how much that is. There's a jumper. That jumper for £120. Huge. Yeah. So, in total, we picked up 24 <laughs> items for a total of... £32.35 and an approximate value of £815. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, do the usual, like it, subscribe to the channel because we do this every week. And I think that's it, isn't it? Anything else you want to say? And we will see you in a bit. Ta ta for now.